Science has finally caught up with something I have been saying for years. Narcissists are some of the weirdest people you will ever meet when it comes to hygiene. Some are disgustingly unclean, while others look obsessively neat, almost squeaky clean. But no matter which type you encounter, the pattern is the same. It is all about image. The crazy part is you would not think psychology and dentistry would ever overlap. But science has now published research papers directly linking narcissism to oral hygiene habits. Yes, their teeth, the way they brush, the way they floss, even the way they replace toothbrushes has been studied. And the results will surprise you, will make you look at narcissists in a way you never imagined. Two separate studies prove that narcissism is highly related to how a person maintains their oral hygiene. I'll reference both of them in this episode and link them in the description for those of you who want to dive deeper. I'm Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. Welcome to my channel. We will focus on understanding what science has discovered about a narcissist's extreme oral hygiene habits and why it is not just about their dirtiness or nastiness. Let's start with the first research paper published in 2013 by Domitrescu and colleagues. This study was titled, The Relationship Between Narcissism, Oral Health Status, and Oral Health Related Behaviors. Here is what they found. People who scored higher on narcissistic traits tended to replace their toothbrushes more often than others. Sounds good, right? You would think that means they are extra hygienic. But when researchers dug deeper, it turned out that while they changed their toothbrushes frequently, their brushing technique was worse. They brushed in ways that did not actually clean their teeth properly. This tells us something fundamental about narcissists. Their focus was not on genuinely taking care of their oral health. It was about appearing to be clean, neat, and hygienic. They were more invested in the appearance of the act than in its substance. Think about that for a second. Even in something as simple as brushing teeth, narcissism shows up. They're brushing not to remove decay, but to preserve an image. They will clean the part that shows when they smile, the visible surface, while neglecting the hidden areas where cavities and gum disease begin. It's a metaphor for their entire existence. Surface level neatness, masking in a rot. Now, let's move to the second study, more recent, published in 2024. This one explored narcissism, selfies, and oral health. The idea was simple. People who take a lot of selfies often have higher narcissistic traits, and they also pay more attention to how their smile looks. The study found that yes, narcissists are deeply invested in the appearance of their smile. They want the white, flashy look for photos, for social media, and for validation, but that does not mean they have healthy mouths. In fact, their obsession with whitening or cosmetic fixes often covers up neglect of basic hygiene. They might whiten stained teeth instead of brushing daily. They may use quick fixes rather than commit to the boring, invisible work of proper flossing and dental care. Again, the research shows the same paradox. Narcissists are addicted to how things look, not how they actually are. And this is where we need to step back and really interpret what these findings mean. Because if you have lived with a narcissist, I'm sure you already know. Their lives are built around appearances. They invest in what you see. They do not invest in what is invisible, but essential. They'll spend hours choosing the right shirt or doing their hair before going out, but they'll skip brushing their teeth if they do not think anyone important will notice. And I would like to share a personal story here. Once a narcissist told me very casually, it does not matter if you're rotting inside. As long as you look fine, neat, and clean on the outside, that's all that matters. He believed that was universal truth, not just his philosophy. That statement stayed with me because it explains so much about their psychology. They confuse image with reality. They think the facade is just enough. They don't have to do anything more. 
My own father was the perfect example of what I just shared with you. He rarely brushed his teeth. Most of the time, his teeth were stained and there was no sense of oral hygiene. But when he had to go to the office or meet someone important, suddenly he would brush. That sounds disgusting, but that's how it was. He would suddenly care when he needed to. He eventually developed serious gum problems, but that still did not change his pattern at all. His hygiene was never about health. It was always about who was watching, when they were watching, and how important that person's status was. The same was true of bathing. He would go days without showering. Being so unhygienic, it was unbearable. But if he had to meet people of higher status, he would bathe, even if it was freezing cold. His hygiene was not about dignity or self-care. It was about image management. This is exactly what the research proves. Hygiene for narcissists is not an act of care. It is a total damn performance. Now, before we go further, let me make something really clear. Struggling with hygiene does not make you a narcissist because this behavior in isolation means nothing. I work with trauma survivors and I know how depression, CPTSD can make it very difficult to maintain daily habits like brushing teeth. Narcissistic abuse survivors themselves may go days without brushing or washing themselves. That does not make them narcissists. No, the difference is in the motive. A survivor may neglect brushing because they are weighed down, exhausted, and depressed. A narcissist neglects it because they do not see the point if no one important is watching and it's way beneath them. When they do brush, it's for show, not for substance. So what does all of this mean on a deeper level? Teeth are symbols of truth and integrity. They are hidden inside the mouth, but they are revealed when we speak, when we smile, when we connect. For a narcissist, even here, the rot begins early. They maintain the illusion of strength, but the inner decay grows because there is no genuine care underneath. It is the perfect metaphor for their lives and relationships. They present the dazzling smile, the charming front, but behind closed doors, there is disease, neglect, and rot. They will polish the surface while ignoring the roots. And that's why these studies are really important and so powerful. They do not just tell us about teeth, they tell us about how narcissists live, love, and ultimately decay from within. So to bring it all together, yes, science has literally proven that narcissism can be traced in something as ordinary as brushing teeth. One study in 2013 showed they changed toothbrushes often but brush badly. Another in 2024 showed that their obsession with selfies leads to an obsession with the look of their smile, not the health of their mouth. It is shallow, performative, and image-driven and it mirrors exactly how they behave in every area of life. If you want to read the studies yourself, as I said, I've linked both in the description below. And make sure to sign up for my upcoming workshop. The topic is how to overcome betrayal trauma after narcissistic abuse. Sign up before the booking closes. Link is in the bio or click the i button above. I'll talk to you in the next one. Until then, as always, let the healing begin and continue.